Hello everyone and welcome to my Unreal Engine for tutorial series on how to make an inventory system. Uh, on the previous lecture we have done all the things, the four things, examine, combination, use item and discard, all the things has done. And in this episode we are gonna do the two additional features of, we don't want to do the same thing over and over again like inspecting this item and then when you interact with this we want to inspect so we don't want to do that once we have inspected done then second time we don't want to do that so we have done we gonna done this thing then we are gonna talk about the sfx part the inventory music part and first things first before that we want to do this thing so if you let's say inspect with this and if you click on this you can see this little four but let's say that this item cannot be combined right this herb cannot be combined further then this button should be disabled so how are you gonna do that so open your inventory actions on the graph go to your event graph so yes inside here we want to do this for the use item so get the use button and set is enabled so how do you gonna do if the button is enabled or not so grab this slot split it out uh, split it out or let's say break it because I don't want to make it uh, very messy this is why so if this is is usable the item is usable then and then it gonna be enabled otherwise not simple uh, hide the unconnected pins now after that we need a map so the combination map and if the length so get the length if the length is greater than zero make sure it's get greater than zero then we want to set the combination part where was it this one to enabled so set enabled to this one the combination part and same thing for the discard so get the discard and set the enabled and the discard would be in here make sure get the discard button and attach it and double click to add a root node pardon so yes we have done these things let's test this out so if you grab your herb you if you click on this you can see the combination part is not because this cannot be combined further so the combination button is disabled all the other things are usable right now uh, what what i was uh, gonna do is if you interact you're gonna see this inspection but it's kind of tedious if you inspect it every time you open this one it's not the best thing so let's say you can inspect it for first time and then you don't want to inspect it so how do you gonna do that so let's make this happen so on your inventory component make a variable call inspected items this would be a type of master object reference and this would be an array so by default the array would be null default value should be zero elements and we're gonna add it and check it so everything is done and now on open your i master object reference the master item so inside here let's first create the function of check inspect uh, the naming convention are bit too force for me and the output would be a success so if this is true then and then we're gonna inspect it otherwise not so how are you gonna do that first things first we're gonna check so get this item and check 
if it's added or not because if the item is not if it item is not can be added in our inventory then obviously we want to check it before because we want to inspect it anyways so if the item is added then we want to do the adding part if it's not then simply we want to do the return node and the success would be true because yes we want to inspect if the item is like let's say a guitar which cannot be added to our inventory second thing so let's cast it to our player character whatever you are using i am using the third person character so just cast it and get the player character as object reference make sure you attach it to whenever you are cast it make sure you attach it to this one otherwise it won't gonna work after that get the inventory component and from that inventory component get the array we just made the get the inspected items array and from that find the element find the item we are looking for so find item the find item would be this one get the item structure and break it and the item would be hide all the unconnected prints except from the item class right you can also split it out it's up to you now if the array is found if the element is found the we are looking for is the array we are looking for is found then it will gonna return an element the index of that so it started from zero or something if the element is not found then it will gonna return minus one so we're gonna check if it's minus one or not minus one means the element we are looking for is not found it means we are inspecting this item for the first time so if it's true if we are inspecting this for the first time then what we want to do we want to add it to our items so grab the inspected items and add item so add or add unique it's up to you because it doesn't make much sense in here because this would be added only once so just add if you add unique it's fine and what you want to add you want to add the class the slot class this one yes so next time you do it will gonna uh, find that and it will gonna return the false if it return false so hit the return node and set it to false and this would be a true save it so we have done this thing and now in your event graph make a room here and call that function that check inspect right then hit branch and hit true so if it's true then it will gonna inspect it if it falls then it will directly gonna add it to your inventory uh, double click to add a reroute node so it looks clean I think yeah so yeah so yes so let's check it out so we are now inspecting this herb for the first time so you can see we can inspect it and then it will gonna add it but yeah we have inspected one time so we don't want to inspect it on this interact so if we e then it will just gonna add it to our inventory like that you don't want to inspect it right so for the scope if you inspect it it will gonna inspect but yeah once it inspected then it doesn't want to inspect it so it added without inspection but for this one you can inspect it as many time as you interact so e it inspecting if you roam around and go around and he because this item cannot be added to our inventory so this is how you're gonna inspect it uh, for this water same it will gonna inspect for the first time but then not yes so everything is added let's click on this you cannot use this item because it not usable the which one is this this one is a scope but you can combine this with this one and the uh, three uh, the herb would be added to this the three 
if you combine it with this the herb will be added to here because the stackable item is 3 yes so we have done this all things now for the sfx part so whenever you click on your item then it would apply the item music or something like that so how are you gonna do that mm, so for the sfx you have to import your music files right so i don't have any music files but i'm gonna find it somewhere so i'm gonna just import uh, in the game design let's see if i have something or not okay so i have one a steel file so make sure it is dot wav file otherwise uh, the encoder will won't gonna figure out which file is this so this file is the assassin's creed steel function you the steel audio let me show you so the uh, item uh, sound is something like this so how do you gonna add it so let's say whenever you click on any of the button you want to add it so let's say for the inventory part first so on your toggling inventory just play sound 2d play sound 2d this one sound would be your still yes so whenever you toggle your inventory on and off that would be played same thing with this one the sfx for the let's say for this one the action part so on the button click uh, this one the press sound you can just set it to your still so let's check it out for this one so if you tab button if you click on this button it is added inside here the sound is so creepy but yeah okay back to none let's say you want to set that button for this one also when you click on this slot so on mouse button down on the true part if if it's left button then play sound 2d not sound 2d play sound yes play sound 2d still yeah. so if you click on this you can see it is uh, happening and if, but yes it is also doing for this one but we don't need that so you, you can just do this one the play sound 2d and use the condition of branch for everything so let's say in here if you just play sound 2d for your and this is how you can do the sfx part i don't have the music so i cannot show you here but i hope you can understand it so we have done all the things the combination the examine so this is all for it now and this is the end of the series i guess with eliminating all the bugs and errors so this is the end of the series of item inspection so thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye